India, a land of diversity, a tapestry woven with countless threads of faith, culture, and heritage. In the heart of this incredible nation, one finds a profound blend of religions, and among them, Islam has played an integral role for centuries. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the vibrant tapestry of Hindu-Muslim unity in India. Our aim is to shed light on the true essence of Islam, dispel misconceptions, and celebrate the spirit of coexistence that has thrived for generations. In a time when the world is quick to focus on conflicts, it's essential to remember the countless stories of Hindus and Muslims working together, understanding one another, and cherishing their shared bonds of humanity. Through this video, we hope to bridge the gap of understanding, foster empathy, and inspire a sense of unity and brotherhood among all of us. Join us as we embark on this journey to uncover the truths and stories that define the beautiful relationship between Hinduism and Islam in India. Islam is India's second-largest religion, with 14.2% of the country's population, or approximately 195 million people, identifying as adherents of Islam. India is also the country with the third-largest number of Muslims in the world. The majority of India's Muslims are Sunni, with Shia making up 13% of the Muslim population. Islam spread in Indian communities along the Arab coastal trade routes in Gujarat and along the Malabar coast shortly after the religion emerged in the Arabian Peninsula, and has since become a part of India's religious and cultural heritage. The Barwada Mosque in Goa, Gujarat built before 623 CE, Cheraman Juma Mosque, 629 CE, in Methala, Kerala and Palaya Juma Pali, or the Old Juma Masjid, 628 to 630 CE, in Kilakarai, Tamil Nadu are three of the first mosques in India which were built by seafaring Arab merchants. According to the legend of Cheraman Perumals, the first Indian mosque was built in 624 CE at Kodungalar in present-day Kerala with the mandate of the last ruler, the Tajuddin Cheraman Perumal, of the Shara dynasty, who converted to Islam during the lifetime of Muhammad, circa 570 to 632. Similarly, Tamil Muslims on the eastern coasts also claim that they converted to Islam in Muhammad's lifetime. The local mosques date to the early 700s. Origins of Indian Muslims The vast majority of the Muslims in India belong to South Asian ethnic groups. However, some Indian Muslims were found with detectable, traceable, minor to some levels of gene flow from outside, primarily from the Middle East and Central Asia. However, they are found at very low levels. Sources indicate that the castes among Muslims developed as the result of the concept of kafa. Those who are referred to as ashrafs are presumed to have a superior status derived from their foreign Arab ancestry, while the alafs are assumed to be converts from Hinduism. Many of the ulema also believe that it is best to marry within one's own caste. The practice of endogamous marriage in one's caste is strictly observed in India. In two of the three genetic studies referenced here, in which is described that samples were taken from several regions of India's Muslim communities, it was again found that the Muslim population was overwhelmingly similar to the local non-Muslims associated, with some having minor but still detectable levels of gene flow from outside, primarily from Iran and Central Asia, rather than directly from the Arabian Peninsula. A research regarding the comparison of Y chromosomes of Indian Muslims with other Indian groups was published in 2005. In this study, 124 Sunnis and 154 Shias of Uttar Pradesh were randomly selected for their genetic evaluation. Other than Muslims, Hindu higher and middle caste group members were also selected for the genetic analysis. Out of 1021 samples in this study, only 17 samples showed E haplogroup and all of them were Shias. The very minor increased frequency, however, does place these Shias, solely with regards to their haplogroups, closer to Iraqis, Turks and Palestinians. Early History of Islam in India Trade relations have existed between Arabia and the Indian subcontinent since ancient times. Even in the pre-Islamic era, Arab traders used to visit the Konkan Gujarat coast and Malabar coast, which linked them with the ports of Southeast Asia. Newly Islamist Arabs were Islam's first contact with India. Historians Eliot and Dowson say in their book The History of India, as told by its own historians, that the first ship-bearing Muslim travelers was seen on the Indian coast as early as 630 CE. H. G. Rawlinson in his book Ancient and Medieval History of India claims that the first Arab Muslims settled on the Indian coast in the last part of the 7th century CE. 
This fact is corroborated by Jay Storick in his Madras District Manuals and by Haridas Bhattacharya in Cultural Heritage of India Vol. IV. It was with the advent of Islam that the Arabs became a prominent cultural force in the world. Arab merchants and traders now became the carriers and ambassadors of a new culture. According to popular tradition, Islam was brought to Lakshadweep Islands, situated just to the west of Malabar coast, by Ubaidullah in 661 CE. His grave is believed to be located on the island of Andrat. A few Umayyad, 661-750 CE, coins were discovered from Kothamangalam in the eastern part of Ernakulam district, Kerala. According to Kerala Muslim tradition, the Masjid Zenith Bash at Mangalore is one of the oldest mosques in the Indian subcontinent. According to the legend of Cheraman Perumals, the first Indian mosque was built in 624 CE at Kodungalar in present-day Kerala with the mandate of the last the ruler, the Cheraman Perumal, of Shara dynasty, who converted to Islam during the lifetime of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, circa 570 to 632. According to Kasat Shakarwadi Farmad, the masjids at Kodungalar, Kolam, Madaya, Barker, Mangalore, Kasaragad, Kanner, Dharmadam, Panthalayanini, and Chalium, were built during the era of Malik Dinar, a prominent Arab scholar and traveler, and they are among the oldest masjids in the Indian subcontinent. The first Indian mosque, Cheraman Juma Mosque, is thought to have been built in 629 CE by Malik Dinar although some historians say the first mosque was in Gujarat in between 610 and 623 CE. In Malabar, the Mapillas may have been the first community to convert to Islam. The culture and teachings of Islam started spreading along the coast and many other natives embraced Islam. Two travelers from India, Mulai Abdullah, formerly known as Balam Nath, and Maulai Nuruddin, Rupnath, went to the court of Imam Mustansir, 1036-1094 CE, and were so impressed by Islam that they converted to Islam and came back to preach in India in 1073 CE. Mulai Ahmed was their companion. Abdullah was the first Wali ul Hind, saint of India. He came across a married couple named Kaka Akila and Kaki Akila who became his first converts in the Tayabi, Bora, community. Arab-Indian Interactions There is much historical evidence to show that Arabs and Muslims interacted with Indians from the very early days of Islam or even before the arrival of Islam in Arab regions. Arab traders transmitted the numeral system developed by Indians to the Middle East then developed them to the numbers we use today and spread them to the rest of the world. Many Sanskrit books were translated into Arabic as early as the 8th century. George Saliba in his book, Islamic Science and the Making of the European Renaissance, writes that, some major Sanskrit texts began to be translated during the reign of the second Abbasid Caliph al-Mansur, 754-775, if not before some texts on logic even before that, and it has been generally accepted that the Persian and Sanskrit texts, few as they were, were indeed the first to be translated, and thus preserved from oblivion to time because of the efforts of Arab scholars. Commercial intercourse between Arabia and India had gone on from time immemorial, with for example the sale of dates and aromatic herbs by Arabs traders who came to Indian shores every spring with the advent of the monsoon breeze. People living on the western coast of India were as familiar with the annual coming of Arab traders as they were with the flocks of monsoon birds. They were as ancient a phenomenon as the monsoon itself. The advent of Prophet Muhammad, 569-632 CE, changed the idolatrous Arabs into a nation unified by faith. The merchant seamen who brought dates year after year now brought a new faith with them. The new faith was well received by South India not through wars as propagated in the media, but rather through cultural interactions with those Arab merchants. Muslims were allowed to build mosques, intermarry with Indian women, and very soon an Indian-Arabian community came into being. Early in the 9th century, when the king of Malabar converted to Islam so many local Indian communities followed, and thus the number of early Indians converting to the new faith willingly was on the rise. As we conclude our journey through the diverse tapestry of India, may we carry forward the spirit of unity and understanding that binds us all. Let's embrace the beauty of coexistence, dispel misconceptions, and work together for a harmonious future. Remember, in the heart of India, diversity is your strength, and unity is your shared destiny. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Please like, 
share, and subscribe to continue promoting harmony and understanding. Together, you can build a better, more inclusive India.